Hey guys, wanted to make a quick little video about planer blades, or excuse me, uh, joiner blades. Now the blades that I got with the machine from the manufacturer, I should have known better, were basically your junk high speed steel blades. Uh, I ran a couple pieces of some Sepelia, I think I'm saying that right. Uh, basically some two inch square stock so I could make some panel clamps. But it's a very dense hard wood, so I ran that over it basically trash the blades with just four pieces of stock. So when I went to go run my maple, I already had dings in the blades that uh, started causing tear out and grooves in the workpiece. Now I thought that I could get these high speed steel blades with a carbide insert. You can kind of see it there. And they basically take a strip of carbide, somehow anneal or you know bond it to this high speed steel because Carbide is really good for cutting, especially with dense materials, and uh, but it's not very pliable like steel. So the only way to you know put carbide in a blade like this is basically just you know weld an insert to it. But the problem I ran into with this particular manufacturer, they stack them all together, put them in a bag, and there's nothing separating them. Anybody who's ever worked in a machine shop and worked with carbide should know. You never allow your tools to touch like that because being that carbide is so dense, if it touches other carbide, it will chip and break, and that's exactly what happened. I'll try and show you here, but uh, my camera doesn't really want to work with me today. There you go. You can kind of see it right there. It took a chip out, and that may not be a big deal to some people, but you know when you're trying to do you know, square your stock, that could be a problem. And the other thing, I'll try and show you, this isn't gonna show it very well, um, it's kinda hard to see on camera, but whatever process they used to put these carbide inserts in here, basically warped every single blade in the exact same spot. And when you put it on a you know piece of machining granite or a straight edge with some feeler gauges, there's about a ten thousandths gap that uh, you know is going to create ridges, high spots and low spots in all your workpiece. So I thought this was going to be a good solution, but apparently not. So I'm going to try a different manufacturer uh, with T1 high speed steel, see how that works out. Um, but yeah, apparently the carbide inserted. You know, straight knives, not a good idea. I'm really trying to stay away from upgrading to the uh, spiral cutter just because that's, that's going to be a, you know, a hefty bit of coin. So we'll see how this works out. I'm going to get the T1 blades and let you know how that works. Thanks.